Well, Dr. Sears was wise. He listened to his body. He's at the dentist as we speak, being taken care of by oral surgeon Dr. Sanda Moldovan. And Dr. Moldovan, thank you for helping out our co-host. We appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so I know you're about to get started, but tell us what was causing Jim's pain. Well, as it turns out, actually, Dr. Sears still has a wisdom tooth that's in place there all the way in the back. And uh, normally, these teeth are actually taken out at the age of 18 to 25. So what's happened, actually, is that the tooth um, has decayed all the way in the back because he wasn't able to brush that area well. So right now, I have given him some dental anesthetic back there in the area so we can start our procedure. How are you so, feeling? Pretty good. Huh? <laughs> so I'm going to detach the gum a little bit from the side. Do I have from you there? Doctor, I think you can do anything you want to Jim right yeah. now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So you see the tooth is all the way back there, especially up against the cheek. And it's coming out at an angle, and it slightly came down in the bite. So what's happening is actually uh, he's been biting his cheek, and that bite is causing him some pain. Dr. Sears, give us a thumbs up if you don't feel anything. There you go. Oh, good, good, That's good, the good. beauty of That's numbing excellent. medication. So normally we like to take out the wisdom teeth in order to prevent any problems from happening, such as decay or gum disease. The problem with these guys is that they're all the way back there, and um, we can't brush and flock them well. Are we getting close? Yeah, look, we have a little wiggle here on the tooth. Oh, here it now, comes. <laughs> Jim, I've always wanted to see how wise you are. <laughs> Don't talk. Don't yeah. talk. You're going to be lighter in one second. Yeah. But at least he's got a lot of support. He's got a lot of people so, there with him. There we go. We actually were able to remove the tooth. No problem. So the tooth is out. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> now I got this big hole in my head, though. So what I like to do is clean the back of the tooth here because what happens is we get tartar that's caught in the back of the tooth, which is, could cause gum disease. Mm -hmm. So I am going to clean that area first. And, and Dr. Moldvon, we've all had our wisdom teeth removed, and I, I remember I you didn't. No, I thought you had. Yeah. No. So I had mine removed, and I can tell you, it was a Lisa. number. Of... I know. I'm chicken. Lisa, I'm, you're next. I'm chicken. Well, she did it so well. You know what? You've been so brave. You went, you've inspired me because I have a horrible one. They've been telling me to get out for years, and I. I... And you know what? Lisa, no. I didn't feel you a didn't thing. You didn't feel a thing? Okay, Nothing. so I'll be next. Now, see, now seeing this, I feel like I can do it. Okay, we're going to irrigate the side with some saline. Yeah, no, so, so he's... A lot of times they're not erupted. And um, so we're going to irrigate the side with some saline. Okay. And then we're going to clean the side and we're going to clean the side and inside the jaw line there. So uh, if that's the case, um, then it's hard to clean back there also on the back okay. of the last tube. So, Dr. Moldovan, what, what, what's Jim going to feel when the local wears off? When the local wears off, he's actually going to have very little pain because I've already given him some Advil. Wow. For ibuprofen.